more our kind of soldier. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you You're very the original. much. I love it. No, I mean, you guys have been very supportive and I think we connect on a high level. And, uh, you know, I never, I just think it's, uh, it's, it's such a great environment to, you know, to inspire because it's very easy to get stale in, in the conservative establishment. And for me, one thing which was very idealistic, which maybe people don't realize, but for me, changing golf was like changing the world. And I remember that you had a headline like that in your, in your magazine, in that article you did with me, whatever, in the beginning of 2000, or when you launched the magazine. And it was like that, because for me to go into an established environment and dress these conservative men, straight men, uh, more modern felt like they probably will think more modern and they will take a more modern decision so somehow it was very idealistic you know also to see how I could go in and stir and create give new energy to, to this very conservative environment was it a painful exit when you left before um, not really. I think people think that uh, maybe it was, but it wasn't because my personality is like when I feel creatively trapped, I need to move on. And I felt creatively trapped and I had to move on because I have so many investors and it was quite complicated because Yale Lindeberg was a very, uh, how can I say, complex vision that I had in the mid 90s to combine golf and fashion because golfers didn't understand fashion, fashion people didn't understand golf at all so it was very complex to put it together and you know I did uh, it took a lot of money because I would I created from a small home market Sweden and we did all these shows in Milan for the fashion side and then we had PDA pro golfers so I got depending of too many investors and I had just to break myself free it was a it was a tough tough decision because you know you have your mom and your dad and you know your daughter and it's your name and in particular in your home country, you know, it's a household name, Jay Lindeberg. So it was a very tough decision, but it's also one of the best decisions I ever took because somehow during these nine years, I don't regret them. I had an incredible ride during these nine years. Very inspiring and I think I developed as a person on a lot of different levels. It's been a long journey since 2004 <laughs> when we first met, when we were launching Gold Punk. Yeah. And Jay Lindeberg was already very solidly out there. Yeah blazing a trail and now I'm 11 back. years later you're back I'm back tell us why uh, I never really thought about it I must say it it, it never not even uh, I don't know it never crossed my mind but uh, Stefan Engstrom who is the uh, CEO of Jay Lindeberg he called me in June and he told me I can take the brand to one level without you and another level with you so I texted my daughter, I said, you don't know what happened, it just happened. And uh, I said, they want me back. And uh, she said, uh, you should do it. But I didn't want to go back because it was my name. Uh, I had to feel that it was passion. So <laughs> that's why it took, it took probably like four, five, six months before we, I took the decision to rejoin. A bit like Steve Jobs getting asked back to Apple, right? Yeah, exactly. I heard that one a lot, actually. And uh, no, there's a lot of successful um, uh, comebacks, but uh, also you you also know that it's quite hard to get back to old relationships in general. So that's why we signed a two years contract, and I said I take the role as a creative consultant, and uh, then we'll see. <clears throat> Normally, you know, I always say like it's for life and. But I thought this time, I, I felt like, let's take it two years, we feel it out. But it feels amazing, I must say, but uh, a lot of everyone is so nice. Everyone is, seems very happy that I'm back. Uh, when, I, when I actually, uh, it was in December, I stepped in, I, I took the taxi to the Jay Lindve office. I haven't been in a store, even Jay Lindve store in these nine years. I stepped in and there was 85 people waiting for me and I hold a speech. That was quite emotional wow. actually. Uh, you know, we can take golf a bit even even more, a little bit more attitude, never hurts. Uh, I think, you know, you can let, I think if we let the young guys or girls 
be a little bit the more themselves and not uh, I think they will also appreciate golf more and I think it make golf more interesting to to join as a, as a shy, as, as a younger or like a teenager yeah you know when you feel like uh, you don't need to behave in a certain way that it's like almost trapping you know it's more impulsive yeah. yeah I think so when you can encourage their personalities also within the golf environment somehow well I think you know in 10 years time we'll come back here to this very spot yeah and we will both have changed the world for golf and Probably. The world in general yeah that's what we're trying Lindeberg, legend thank you bro